because the Darjeeling Tea Gardens are in a state of financial crisis for the last decade, and there are multiple market-linked factors associated with it. So we spend a lot of time studying all the methods out there in terms of how can we create additional sources of income. We wanted to spend some time on the carbon markets to be able to understand how can we create additional sources of income even beyond Dorje teas for the tea garden and for for neighboring tea gardens. That's when we focused on only science first methods and, and read a lot about uh, you know how rock weathers. And I think at that point we realized that Darjeeling offers a perfect regime for rocks to weather. You're on the foothills of Himalayas. You have subtropical temperatures. You have high rainfall. You have high humidity. Um, you have cation rich soil. Uh, and and rock requires all of these parameters to weather faster because only when rocks will weather will you be able to get carbon credits. Only when you create carbon credits will you be able to deliver and realize that revenue. To be ensure that it is backable, it is bankable as well. Um, and uh, so that is something that we really focused on. Um, so the Darjeeling Revival Project is about reviving Darjeeling. Um, we've already expanded to around 30,000 acres and this is all uh, onboarded farmlands through by our own team without using any FPOs. Um, and in the future, I think uh, next year's target is to onboard around 100,000 acres um, and to ensure that we create the largest carbon sink possible.